you're trying the Dermaflash Dermaplaning Exfoliation Device. It claims to painlessly remove dead skin cells, built up debris, and pesky peach fuzz. I usually use a $1 razor about once a month, so I'm super excited to use this upgraded version. The first step is to wash your face with the pre-flash cleanser. What's a little bit different about this Dermaflash dermaplaning device is that your face is supposed to be bone dry when you're doing it. Usually with my $1 face razor, I have a little bit of serum on and I find that that helps it like glide across the skin easier. So I'm gonna hope that they know what they're talking about and it's not gonna tug on my skin. Here are the instructions. With a new edge loaded, press the power button once to activate gentle vibration. A second press delivers a more invigorating experience. A third press turns the device off. Beginning in front of the ear at the cheekbone, hold skin taut with finger from the opposite hand. Hold your Dermaflash Lux at a 45 degree angle using short feathery strokes moving over the entire face. Oh, there's hair floating in the air. Ooh, tell me you can see that. Look at that. You already know me. You know I'm gonna collect all this hair and show it to you at the end. All right, that was a little scary at first, but now I feel better. Oh my word. <gasps> That's as soft as a baby's butt. Oh, all of the hair that's on this device right now. <laughs> Each blade is a one-time use and I can understand why. There is so much hair coming off. If you're like me and you have some moles, then you know that you get a few black hairs in your moles. It's not a secret. And I always shave them off, and I'm a little bit scared that this is going to hurt my mole, so... It hasn't gotten all my mole hairs yet, but it didn't hurt. Look at this skin and hair, like that white stuff you see, that's all me. <laughs> I'm finished, but I'm gonna wash my face one more time because I do kind of feel like there's hairs on my face. After you've finished, you're supposed to put on the post flash moisturizer. Oh, wow. Yeah. I feel like I'm putting on moisturizer for the first time. I am not lying when I say I think my skin feels the softest it ever has. Although I think it worked great, I'm going to speak to Dr. Bruce Katz about his thoughts on the Dermaflash and my before and after footage. I would say save your money. It's definitely not worth it. In terms of improving wrinkles and smoothing out the texture of the skin, you know, that might work temporarily. And the way that actually works, Celia, is by causing a little bit of swelling because of the rubbing, the inflammation. So you see a little temporary improvement in, you know, you may see fine lines, uh, texture, only because you have swelling there. But it's nothing that creates any permanent or long-term improvement because it's basically just an, you know, an abrasive device. Is it any better than the $1 device that you showed me? I would say absolutely not. They both just cause irritation by rubbing or using an abrasive uh, device to uh, abrade the skin. The effect of this dermaplaning device, just because it's rubbing against your skin, it removes your hair. That's the only effect it's really having. It's not doing anything for the acne or the acne scarring. And we wouldn't expect that from something that's just dermaplaning. That's just purely abrasive, it's exfoliative, and uh, that's the only uh, benefit it has.